The biggest question I always get asked is, Zach, can we get an updated room tour? Well, that is today's video. Thank you so much for clicking on this, guys. I'm really excited to show you the kind of the updated set that we have and a lot of different things that we're kind of be going around. I love collecting stuff. I have always collected stuff since I was younger. And this is going to be that video for you guys. So thank you so much again for all the support. And in the middle of this video, we do have two special announcements. One that I'm going to kind of say right now, if you want your own shirt like this, my marketplace store is back open. You can find that link down below. And the other one will be about Patreon. If you've never supported me on Patreon before, we are relaunching with some brand new exclusive stuff. And I'm going to talk about that in the middle of the video. So thank you so much again for watching and let's get to the room tour. And entering the room this way, you shall get the grand look of it all right here. Just something for you guys to enjoy, something for you to love. Kind of get a nice panoramic view of everything going on. And then we'll kind of dive in. And if there's anything specifically that you guys would like to see kind of a little bit more in detail, let me know and I'll do some shorts on my YouTube as well as on TikTok. But let's kind of go out this way. We'll close the door. Kind of give us a little bit more privacy so you can see the back. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Lots to discuss in here. A lot of you guys are probably going to want to dive into the main attraction of the room, but we are not going to do that yet. We're going to stand on this side, and we're going to back ourselves around and go all the way around till we get to right here. So let's do this. Starting back here, of course, you can see we got the Buzz Lightyear Star Command poster. Found this thing a while back, needed it for this because I love that show. We got a Boba Fett helmet. We got a Darth Vader helmet. We have a photo of me from the Greatest Showman press screening. That is a while ago. Forgot that was even up there. We have the mask from Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. We have a Court of Owls mask. And then a ton of Nintendo Amiibos. I am such a massive fan. This is kind of like... I love movies, but like video games and all sorts of things like that. Specifically Smash Brothers, I've always been addicted to. And I love these things all right here. And they all go down around the back of this as well as i have an oswald poster right there and a bunch of this is just film it's kind of like places i've gone to press badges all sorts of things like that as well as my varsity letter from when i did cross country and track that was that was fun and then of course kind of just diving in here it's all my little babies star wars all things like that these things are freaking awesome and they're apparently coming out with more and i can't wait plus we got some buttons uh, that we got from our disneyland trip and my sister made for when me and my fiance got engaged. Pretty damn cool. Plus, they gave me a birthday button. That's pretty awesome. And some nice man at Disneyland gave us this. But when you look up, you know, I have the Spider-Man No Way home poster from my fiance, the Steamboat Willie, and then this is like one of my favorite things I own. Mysterio and Spider-Man signed by the artist. Love this. It's one of the composited art things that they made. I got this at the first San Diego Comic-Con I ever went to. Absolutely love this. One of my favorite things that I own. But... You know, before we get to more of the art, we'll kind of stay down here and kind of look. So this is kind of one of those containers. It actually swivels and turns. It's a little bit hard with only one hand, but uh, has a ton of video games on it. I have a bunch of PS3, PS3, Xbox One X, which, as you can see, I have over there. And then, of course, controller charger. And then we have a bunch of controller holders, Monkey Bomb, Halo, Master Chief, Banjo and Kazooie, and again, all my Amiibos. Right there we have, of course, our R2-D2, which supports a little Bluetooth speaker in this, but in fact, this is actually a popcorn container, so I've just converted it into more storage, plus I really like the design. Now, going into here, these are kind of all my old school kind of games. Not even old school, pretty much, but just a lot more of my video game collection. This is more of, like, what's modern, what I'm playing right now. This is Nintendo and older stuff, so I have all my GameCube games right here. I really love collecting video games, like, it's really, really fun and bringing back my childhood. I have a bunch of Switch games in here, plus my Game Boy Color that currently has Pokemon Silver in it. Really much the only game I actually played on that entire console, so we got that. Then, of course, right here we have the PlayStation 2 games that I have, plus Dig Dug sitting on the Iron Throne. Some more just random nonsense down here with some xbox one x games some xbox 360 games we got down here plus some original xbox games if you look you got c knights of the old republic plus we got my mr potato head and then this thing's awesome right there nintendo 64 bunch of games all labeled all that sorts of things plus in a little amiibo if you remember this dude 
freaking awesome. That game One thing I do want to go into is diving into all my video game statues. So we have a ton up here and all around. You can see Kratos. You can see just a bunch of different things. You can kind of sort yourself out. I'm really digging these Mass Effect ones. There's apparently a new Thane uh, Assassin one coming out soon. Cannot wait to pre-order that thing. But of course, we got all these. Master Chief, Master Chief. We got the fetus baby from Death Stranding. Nathan Drake, Funko Pop all of that now this actually used to host all my toy story stuff but i ended up moving the video game stuff just made a little bit more sense since it's closer down there and i really just it needed a home but i i really love a lot of these statues and i love collecting video game statues i have two more coming this year probably gonna sort some of this stuff around and even move stuff i kind of just filled it out for right now just because to make it look full now diving in let's go over here now of course this is my couch you got gengar you got squirtle We'll kind of give you the full panoramic view of what this looks like. Pretty damn comfy. So, now moving over here, we have a Gears of War Lancer plus Dio and a George Lucas Stormtrooper. Then we have some Star Wars figures. We have Darth Maul, Princess Leia, some Clone Wars stuff, some Hot Wheels, all sorts of things like that. And then we have some of my Funko Pops. If you remember, if you're early, early on this channel, you know I love Funkos. Uh, or at least I used to. I used to be really into them, and I had a lot more, but this is kind of... The last bit of it, I only really collect certain select ones like Toy Story, Naruto, My Hero Academia, some Demon Slayer, the Director's Pops, and just some other things that I really like as a kid. But we also, of course, have all of my Blu-rays right over here, as well as a ton more over there. I am actually out of space at this point, um, but I do need to go through this because a lot of these Blu-rays, some of them are actually duplicates. Like, as you can see right here, like, I own a Batman 4K Blu-ray copy and a Batman Steelbook. There's a lot of things like that. Um where I just like to double dip because if I love movies. Now we also have a Keyblade right here. Love this, this is probably one of my favorite Keyblades. If you play Kingdom Hearts, you know what that is from. As well as we have a Darksaber. We have Pennywise's ugly face right there. You can see the balloon. Really like then that. we also have the Mandalorian Nerf gun. Now I, not into Nerf. I, I don't buy Nerf guns. I don't do any of that. I've never been into it. But when you told me I can have the Mandalorian rifle as a Nerf gun and it actually shoots, yeah, all down for that. Now, let's kind of start diving into the hot toys, man. So, we'll kind of go all the way up above the cases. So, I have a Mysterio statue right there. I have a Deadpool. We got Spider-Man's mask from Infinity War and the Iron Spider suit. Some more Spider-Man stuff. Of course, we got Carnage right there. 90s Spider-Man. A Mandalorian helmet. A freaking Eye of Agamotto. Boba Fett. And then, of course, Star-Lord. Scary Teddy Bear. And then, there's a little Groot right there, too. But the main case, let's look at this. So this is my Venom kind of case itself. So we have Deadpool Venom. We have Venom, of course, from the movies. We have Groot Venom. And then we have Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Life Size 2. Love this. This is one of my favorite ones. I was looking for him forever. Found him. And he just really fits into here. Plus, it's like, oh, this is what happens when he turns into that. So I love that. This is my Spider-Verse case at the moment right now. Once I have Miles pre-ordered and I have a couple other Spider-Man that I'm going to put in here to kind of honor Spider-Verse, but that one will end up moving down there, which we'll show. But this is going to be my Spider-Verse case, my favorite comic book film of all time. I also have this cool VHS of Spider-Man Homecoming, which I really like Spider-Ham. But yeah, th this might be possibly my favorite case that I own. Then we have the brand new edition that I have, which is actually the Zack Snyder's Justice League. I love this movie wholeheartedly. Let me kind of back out a little bit, but I want you guys to view this. I have the 4K collection right here, and then I have a VHS of the Zack Snyder Justice League, which the movie is actually on there. Awesome thing. And yeah, I love the detail on these figures. Two of my favorites, and actually the two first ones that I ever pre-ordered. Now we come down here, and we have Spider-Man on VHS, a Goblin Bomb, which actually turns on, Logan himself, and the Iron Spider. Love this one. This one's kind of just a little miscellaneous at the moment. But I do love it. And, of course, you can see the Logan Steelbook that I have back there. And kind of just going under to kind of show you, this is more of just storage and just random other things that I have in here that just kind of go extra movies. This this thing is actually pretty cool. It's If you know the Scott Pilgrim video game from the Nintendo Switch, that is actually a physical copy of it. I'll do a link in the bio to kind of an unboxing I did on my video game. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! back up to here let's start going through this now this is my mandalorian case baby yoda is big but this is a life-size grogu which i love but we got ig back there the armor 
Moff Gideon, the brand newest one that I have from Star Wars. I do plan on getting Mando himself, but I'm waiting for the newer version to come out this year before I end up buying him. Then we have here, we have Jack Sparrow. And I know this entire thing is Star Wars, but I just want this thing front and center. It is one of my favorite hot toys I've ever gotten. It's the one that I was searching for forever. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. So happy to finally have that. Plus the detail on the base is awesome. We got Ahsoka from the Clone Wars. Captain Rex, love the detail on Captain Rex. Plus in between all my cases are actually lightsabers. So do that as what you will. Then right here, we got Kylo Ren, General Grievous, Darth Maul, and Jango Fett. Now, this is kind of like some of my more favorite stuff that I have. I really do love the Jango Fett one. I wasn't even planning on getting that, but there's just something special about his aesthetic that I really love. And I do want all the Mandalorians. And then this one is Mickey Mouse's Indiana Jones, plus two of the iconic things from Indiana Jones itself. I love the statue. I've always looked at it and seen it at Disneyland since I was so, so young, and I'm so happy I finally added it to my collection. But not least, it is my Toy Story collection. Those are my original Buzz and Woody. In fact, a lot of these toys, if they are not from the newer films, are actually a lot of my original stuff that I had back in the day. Some of them better in shape than others. Some definitely not. Some needed replacements. But I really love this, and I love Toy Story. There's a lot of stuff that I'm actually missing from the franchise, but I hope to one day collect it all because... This is personally my favorite collection that I own, and it's just, it's freaking awesome. Like, I love it. I even have, like, little Zergs droids down there, but, yeah, there's Zerg, there's Gabby Gabby, there's all of that, and you kind of get that yeah, perspective. of course, some more Funko Pops over here as well, and that random life that I just need to take down. Like I mentioned, really into My Hero Academia. I don't talk too much anime on this channel, but, yeah. Then we have these, which I love. Some more Funko Pops right there, more movies. Another Gears of War Lancer. This is actually Barbosa sword from Pirates of the Caribbean, a replica of it. My best friend gave me this back. I'll kind of go around, I'll kind of give a little glimmer. I have all of these Spider-Man figures from the 90s television show, I think, 90s or 80s. But God, I love this show so much. And this is like one of my favorite things that I own. I try to get each and every one of them. I think I'm personally only missing Venom at this point. And maybe like two others that I just didn't really care for. But yeah, those are awesome. Then we have this random miscellaneous shelf, which right there, if you guys want your own movie palette, Zach 15, if you use it on the website, you'll get 15% off. This thing's awesome. This is actually the movie Toy Story. Like every color from every scene in it. These are stunning. And I think the Blade Runner one is actually the coolest one. So I can't wait to get that next. But this is kind of, again, miscellaneous. I actually plan on either putting more hot toys up here because I have like six pre-ordered right now or doing more Lego stuff. So I have these Legos so far. My sister built this one. She wanted to build it, but I wanted to own it. So that's that. Then we have this Ahsoka one, just some miscellaneous ones. Plus we have the Crystal Skull from Indiana Jones in the Crystal Skull, the worst film. I also have this awesome poster that just moves. I love and these things so much. We have my comics. Now these are actually not comics. These three, these are actually figures for the Watchmen, but I do not want to take them out. I do not want to remove them. I'm kind of pissed I didn't own the other ones, but we have the Watchmen comics right there. A couple more right there. Doomsday, even more. So some figures, some Muppet minifigures, plus a ton of art books. I'm a huge collector of art books and everything of that nature. Some more comics as well right here. Even more behind there. And then a lot of Lego sets behind there that I need to build, plus the Hellboy collection, which I really like. And of course, this is kind of what you see behind my channel. We'll kind of put that on right there. But I have some Mandalorian art, Predator, Iron Giant, Soka herself, and then of course, all of these beautiful people all right this there. This is the chair I sit in. Some artwork right there, Cad Bane, and of course, this glorious thing that if you remember from Deadpool 2, while I don't love that movie, I do love this piece of art. I have a bunch of these movie standees that should, they all can stand up. I just have them kind of piled behind there. You see Jack Sparrow over there. This is kind of a behind the scenes. This is my entire set. This is where I sit at. You know, you can see more Funkos right there, some lightsabers, but this is everywhere I do videos at. And speaking of which, let's jump into what I wanted to announce. Guys, the special announcement, like I was hinting at when we looked at my computer, is my Patreon. It is relaunching right now, and I'm going to show you a little bit of a segment from the video that is uploaded currently on that page. So if you want more information, feel free to click the link down below. Patreon is the best way to currently support me, and honestly, if you want exclusive content like 
watch along videos, which a lot of you guys have been asking me to do, that is going to be your main source for them all. So again, check out that comment, check out that Patreon down below, and I'm going to show you some of the memberships tiers right On now. Geek Street. This is, of course, you get all the previous perks, access to Patreon only content such as watch alongs and other special videos, and the ability to suggest a monthly watch along live stream. Adding in there, I will also follow you back on Twitter. That is where I'm most active at, and we can have a great discussion over on Twitter whenever you want. Feel free to message me once you go to this. But tier. of course, back to the video. Let's dive right back into this and kind of look at everything else we got. This is kind of like my last remaining pop wall, plus just a random bunch of other things. Some hot toy boxes just for, you know, just to have room. And then we get to my TV, where I like to sit and enjoy. I got an LG TV. It's absolutely stunning and I love it so much. But let's get a little bit closer to everything up there. PS5 right here. I love playing video games. If you didn't know that, well, that's who I am. And of course the artwork. I forgot to mention the artwork. We have a Joker, Liara, Mad Max, some Dark Knight, Star Wars, these other moving posters, which are stunning. Love those right there. Then we have Suspiria signed poster. We have Guardians of the Galaxy, those things, Westview, and of course the Iron Giant. But I wanted to show you kind of get this. So this is kind of Roku, GameCube adapter. This is actually filming us as we speak right now. But uh, this is all of like my consoles. We have the Nintendo Switch. We have my GameCube. We have my Wii U. We have some Amiibos going around. This is kind of like one of my movie little things. Uh, a great Patreon supporter and also a good friend of the channel, Tom. Love him. I'm not going to say his last name just in case he doesn't want me to. But he sent this in the mail. I absolutely love it. But we got sort of things like this. I have a signed Rocky glove from Sylvester Stallone himself. And just a bunch of cool things. Then we have over here my Xbox One S or X, whatever, that I use to play 4K disc. My Nintendo 64. Predator. And another Yeti mic behind there. Then we have my PlayStation 2. We have Indiana Jones. We have another Toy Story shelf. We have a PS3 plus a bunch of just carts. We have my Batman kind of like little idol here. We got the Batman popcorn tin. We got uh, notes. Those actually have the Riddler notes in them and a Batman Beyond statue. A Star Wars kind of dedicated whole thing with some Sith and Jedi holocron. A Marvel thing with a bunch of VHSs that actually again play movies all from the same site. I don't think he still contains the actual stuff, but you can still buy some cool artwork like that. And of course my anime kind of shelf that i have right so much for watching this you guys are really all the best i had a blast showing you guys my room and if you if this is the first time you've ever watched me then you are in the right place make sure to hit that like subscribe button comment down below your guys thoughts and of course until next time stay classy